Montreal, Canada has been on my radar for a long time. And given the fact that it's so close to Chicago, feels like being in Europe, but without the time difference and the body odor, I had no more excuses. And when it comes to diversity, one minute, you're walking down a cobblestone street. The next, you run into hipster doofuses. And the art scene, it's not just contained to galleries, it's everywhere. Montreal has a culinary scene second to none. So I hit the ground running, in my sweet minivan rental that is, for a taste of Montreal. First, I check out La Bremer, a seafood focused restaurant in the Old Port District, owned by celebrity chef Chuck Hughes. There, we caught up with two chefs who told me why Montreal is a foodie lover's paradise. They also told me about their ambitions to open up a hair salon of a different variety. You really have a hair salon? It's called Southern Dew. We work on a different part. Your head, but your other head, you know. Yeah. Some popular ones in Abraham Lincoln everyone's getting right now. <laughs> the Bill Cosby's fantastic. Yeah, that's good. Very popular. If you had to summarize the flavors of Montreal with three words, what would that be? Crispy. <laughs> Delicious. Hearty. What's the deal with uh, poutine? Obviously, it seems like the ultimate drunk food to me, but why has <laughs> Montreal embraced it? I think it started and never been the same anywhere else but Montreal. Yeah, I tried it everywhere in Toronto, like I said, I'm from Toronto, and it's what I thought was poutine is it's garbage. <laughs> Until I came here, it's, it's like I've never tried it before. It's the first time I tried it, and it's amazing. Yeah, one of the most important things about poutine, I find, is you have to leave your cheese curds at room temperature so they get that squeak. And, and don't melt it, don't throw yeah, it back you in never the oven. And Chuck travels a lot. Chuck, uh, the executive chef of here in Garbanger, so. So he'll he'll go to like let's say uh, Bangkok or whatever or Mexico and then he'll come back with uh, you know, fresh ideas and we'll do like a take on maybe a classic. Introduces dish. influences in the small towns and stuff that uh, yeah. he's been at. It's really cool actually. Yeah. So can't we kiss? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to Danny Smiles. You're the man. And Brett's real dad. We'll find you someday. <laughs> 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 and if you're looking for fresh, you're looking for new, come on down to Southern Dew. We got great and you can too. You come on down to Southern Dew. <laughs> <laughs> this is all on the record too. Everything. After making new friends and having some wickedly good seafood, I headed over to Fairmount Bagel in the Plateau Montreal district. These guys have been kicking it old school since 1919. And believe me, not much has changed. They were nice enough to invite us in the kitchen and show us how they hand roll, boil, and bake every single bagel. And trust me, those ovens are much older than I am. For a Jewish boy like me, this is Bagel Nirvana. I couldn't resist one of these hot sesame bagels right out of the oven. And I'm sorry, New York City, you have a serious contender here with Fairmont Bagel in Montreal. Right across the street is Walensky's Lunch Counter, an institution where I sat down and talked history and shared an egg cream with the owner. What's been here longer, Walensky's or the bagel shop? Uh, we've been here since 1932, and actually our family business started in 1907. Really? Yeah. A lot of Jews that came here were communists, you know, they, they weren't religious at all. Really? Yeah. My oh. grandfather. That's why we, we've never been kosher. And here there was kind of a before the war community and an after the war community. Oh. Uh, not like a huge rift, but there wasn't much communication in a way because the, the people that were here were already assimilated somewhat right. and then these newcomers came and were a different sort. With a stomach full of deliciousness, I continued my foodie quest right down the street to Cafe Sardine. This restaurant is so authentically rustic, you couldn't replicate it if you tried. I sat down with Chef Brian Peters to talk shop. In Quebec, a focus on using Quebec products. It's an international city, so any type of cuisine you want, you could find it here. There's a huge focus on good product, and it shows that purveyors bring the best organic products to the market. For this particular menu, I wanted to do uh, flavors of the East Coast. Uh, I wanted to have a focus on fish. Well, this salmon ceviche salad, uh, very summery. Nothing more refreshing I find than like uh, just a lightly cured fish. Just comfort food, food that I grew up with. Uh, you know, I've got two or three things from my grandmother's personal cookbook on the menu right now. I can't believe it took me so long to visit Montreal. The city and the food blew me away. So if you're planning a vacation, Forget about Vegas or the beach. 
Montreal is way more fun than gambling away your mortgage and drinking pina coladas. I know I'll be back sooner than later.